What's up everybody, this is your boy Jen and you're watching the best vegan food travel show. And today on this episode, we're in my motherland baby, Filipinas, Babuhay. Nothing better than eat banana cube. Next is this. Right here. Mmm. Sweet caramelized sugar. Bananas. It's called banana cube. City. Thank you to everybody that recommended places to eat here in uh, Manila. Uh, Cosmic was one of the top recommendations to eat, so um, they're actually known for their uh, rendition of uh, vegan Filipino food. So I'm ready to try. We just ordered, so let's go. Let's try it. All right, so we ordered the appetizer. We ordered, um, it's a tempura platter. So we ordered a um, enoki mushroom, king oyster mushroom, and it says it's a tofu skin. And we're going to dip it in sriracha mayo. Let's try it. This is the tofu skin right here. Mm. Mm. That sriracha mayo is good. Very good crunch. I don't know if you can take some tofu in there, but great crunch. This is the, um, I think it's the king oyster mushroom. Let's try this one with the... The texture is great. The crunch is good. It's really good. I'm gonna try this garlic, this garlic mayo right here with the enoki mushroom. Let's try this one. Mm. Oh. Look at that stringy mushroom inside. Crazy. The texture is also good. Um, it's juicy in the middle, crunchy on the outside, not too oily. It's great. Great appetite. So the first dish is the kare kare with bagnet. It's made out of peanut sauce, eggplant, and pechai, and sitao inside actually. Um, the second one is the bean guan, which is made out of black beans and green chilies. And then the third one is the, um, the sinigang. It's a, it's a miso mushroom sinigang, uh, which is a vegetable tamarind miso soup. It's made with miso paste, mustard leaves, sitao, eggplant, radish, tomatoes, and mushrooms. The next one is the mushroom burger pepper steak. Um, it's made out of minced shiitake mushrooms, soy protein, pepper, onion, garlic, and special gravy. And we got a couple side um, side orders of vegan longanisa and the barbecue isao. So the first dish I'm trying is a sinigang um, or sinigang. <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, so a sinigang is a, one of the dishes that it's one of those home cooked dishes that just really warms up your stomach. Um, when you're sick, it's real sour, helps you, you know, get the, get the sickness out, you know? So I'm gonna try this one. See you, okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, you can feel it all the way down here. Sour, real good. Nice, salty, it's not too salty. Um, let's try some of this eggplant right here too. This is 
dessert that really like soothes your soul, man. So good. Recommend it for sure. So this next one is the kare kare. Um, it's made from a peanut sauce, has eggplant, pet chai, and um, some sea thaw in it. And also this one is actually, there's a protein on top made out of cassava and also like a textured veggie protein. Pretty interesting, I'm gonna try it, ready to try it right here. Let me go. Whoa. Definitely takes the peanut sauce, it's delicious. It really tastes like the real thing, man. It's really good. When you eat kare kare, it actually comes with, um, it's called alamang. It's supposed to be, it's, it's like, kind of like a smoky, like, shrimp paste. But this is made out of like a bean and unknown um, ingredients. So we'll see. It's supposed to be real salty. It's supposed to match really good with the uh, sweet peanut sauce of the kare kare. So let's try that. Wow. Wow, that's really good. Nice saltiness. Definitely matches with the sweet peanut sauce. Very good. All right, so the next dish we're trying is called the Dinaguan, which is their rendition of the Dinaguan. Standard Dinaguan is made out of like pig's blood and stuff that we don't want anymore. So this one's made out of beans, uh, has that same protein on top the uh, cassava and um, the textured meat protein. So let's try it. So the, usually dinaguan is uh, more of a, like a vinegary taste. So hopefully we'll see how the, this one tastes right here. Here we go. So, looks kind of like chocolate. It's also known as chocolate meat. So let's go. Oh yeah. You could, it's, it's, it's pretty vinegary. Let me just try this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah, texture's really good. It's not, it's like, um, yeah, it definitely tastes of vinegar in there. Really good. Mm -hmm. Great dish. Vinegar one. All right, the next dish I'm trying, I'm actually gonna try a couple dishes right now, but is the burger steak, the mushroom um, burger steak, pepper steak. It's actually made out of minced mushroom, and it also has this special gravy on top. Damn, right there. The burger, it's a little, mm, it's good, it has good flavor. The texture is a little rubbery, but it has great flavor. The gravy's really good. I'm gonna try this one. This is the barbecue Esau. Bam, let's try this. Mmm, that's really good too. Definitely tastes like barbecue Esau. But the texture of the, the meat is a little rubbery as well. You can actually tell, look, it looks a little rubbery, but again, the flavor is really, really good. And this one, the longanisa. Let's try it. Mmm. Ooh, that longanisa is really good. Yeah, vegan longanisa. It tastes like longanisa, minus the burps. Nah, I'm just kidding. Last but not least, we ordered the sea sick with bagnet. It's actually made out of seitan, there's tofu in there, and also those fresh chilies. All right, so I'm very excited to try this sea sick right here, this tofu sea sick. Um, sea sick is one of those dishes where it's great, pairs up with um, a, like a glass of beer or something like that, so it's, um, it's good. Let me try it, this is with the calamansi. Yeah. of the chilies, the calamansi, all mixed in. Oh my God. 
This is bomb. This is real good. This is real good. Mm. Yeah. Order this uh, calamansi iced tea. Recommended right here. Very good. Calamansi flavor is the best citrus type of citrus. <laughs> So what people might not know is that I actually did live in Baguio City for a little bit. Uh, back in 2006, I went to nursing school here, graduated. Um, so one of the places that I've always wanted to try was Oh My Gulai, uh, which translates to Oh My Vegetable. And um, it's located on Session Road, uh, right by SM Baguio. Um, but at that time, I wasn't vegan. I wasn't into veganism. So um, today, I'm here. I'm going to try it. So. At oh My Gulai, it's actually a vegetarian restaurant. It's not fully vegan, but most of the dishes you can make vegan. So we ordered a couple dishes and I'm excited to try it, man. Let's go. The first thing I ordered was uh, the Walastik Bistek, uh, which is tofu, veggie meat, um, potatoes cooked like a bistek, um, which is, bistek in Tagalog is like a, it's cooked in like a, like a lemony kind of saucy soy sauce flavor. Um, and it's garnished with onion rings. Um, say no quail eggs because, you know, that's not vegan. And it's served with red rice. Looks delicious. The next thing we ordered was a tokwang taro. It's a deep fried tofu wrapped in taro leaves and it's spiced with ginger and turmeric. And last but not least, we got the lapu lapu lumpia. It's actually tofu rolls on a bed of mixed greens, minus the honey mustard, uh, and Asian dressing. Uh, it looks really good. I'm a big fan of lumpia. So. I'm gonna try it right here, man. Let's go. Get this rice, this veggie meat in there. A little close up. A little bit more. Let's try this one more time. Oh yeah. The veggie meat is a little, it's soft and a little, the texture is a little rubbery, but it's still pretty good. But the flavor of the green onion, the onions, the, um, the bistec flavor is there. The red rice, delicious, fluffy, soft, good. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's try this tokwang taro right here. Um, man, there's a lot of taro leaves on top. But let's, let's, how do I dig into this? Let's uh, split this up here. Oh man, there's a lot of taro leaves they put in here. Ooh, there's a little hidden little deep fried tofu in there wrapped in taro leaves. Cool. All right, let's dig in that right there. Let's go. Having a hard time here. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. Here it is. Found it. Found the tofu in there. Close up. There it is. Deep fried tofu. Let's just try it right here. Let's try this. Hmm. The tofu is a little crunchy, but the, the taro leaves actually add a little sweetness to it. It's kind of sweet. And the rice, of course, is fluffy. And there's like some kind of broth down here. Let's try it out. Yeah. It's sweet. It's good. It's really good, actually. You can actually really taste the, uh, the ginger and the turmeric flavor in that broth as well. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a pretty good dish, man. Um, it does the presentation is, is, it looks a little much, but nah, once you get deep down in there, it tastes really good. So good stuff.
All right, let's try this uh, spicy vinegar. Mmm. Crunchy. Deliciousness. So good. So we have a special guest here. We have FIBA 3x3 professional superstar athlete, Carl Dehessa. He actually um, is a plant-based athlete. So Carl, how do you reap the benefits of a plant-based diet as a professional athlete? As an athlete, it's really good for uh, recovery and as well as my performance. Um, you know, I like having good, clean energy before a game, so I'm able to move efficiently and uh, more effectively. And, exactly. and also with the recovery part, um, Usually when before I turned plant-based, yeah. it took me a while to recover after games. Yeah. So doing the three x three games, we have you know three, two, three games in one day. Yeah. So it's really important that I put in the right food in my body before these games. Perfect. So he recommended Wabi Sabi Noodle House here in Makati. So um, we're here actually a vegan, it's pretty fully vegan except yeah. a couple dishes. So yeah, let's go try it out, man. We're excited. Check out all the people checking out the best let's vegan. Let's go. Right Say hi everyone. You're on TV. The Tan Tan Ramen. Uh, it's actually a sesame base, they said. It has um, pet chai, the noodles, seaweed. It actually um, has a veggie meat on top that's made out of the tofu. So um, let's try it out, man. I ordered spicy as well, so. Oh, yeah. You can definitely taste the sesame. It's very nutty. It's really good. I'm gonna put some the chili out. Oh, yeah, excited. There you go. Let's try it out, man. This that's recommended is the uh, Mission Street dumplings. It's actually looks like gyoza that's um, sitting in like a, uh, a little pool of vinegar uh, with some cucumbers, some sesame seeds. There's some cilantro in here. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it. Here we go. Let's try it close up. Looks like there's um there's some carrots, some tofu inside. It's really good with a man. I'm put some let's put the cilantro on top, huh? Let's try that. Mm. That swim pool vinegar down up below really adds a different flavor to it, man. It's really good. What can help as well is some chili oil. Let's put a little bit of vegetables um, and then the cilantro looks really good look at that I'm gonna try it plain right now but it comes with a couple sauces that's recommended so mm. Mm. that veggie meat not rubbery at all the texture is great and it tastes like a it has like a barbecue -y teriyaki flavor to it as well it's very very well marinated but I'm gonna try one of these this is like a banh mi sauce put on top comes with a little peanut sauce as well let's try that chilies right here. Oh, looks like a vinegar sauce. Ooh. Check that out. Mm. Wow. The pickled chilies. Really good. Not too spicy. 
spicy. Delicious, man. This is a great sandwich. Oh, man. Big ups to the chef, man. This is really good. Great sandwich. All right, so there's two more dishes that I wanted to try as well. This is the vegan unagi. Unagi is usually like, uh, you know, normally eel, of course, but it's made out of veggie meat um, and looks like the same type of unagi sauce on it. We'll see. Let's see how it tastes. It still has that fishy flavor to it because of the seaweed. Texture is great, it's crunchy. That unagi sauce, so good, really good. Man. All right, let's try this one. I'm excited, this is a show pal. Whole wheat show pal. I don't know what's inside yet, but it looks different, it's brown. It's like mushroom, veggie meat. It's really good, man. Let's put some, um, where's that sauce at here? This one. Let's try this sauce. Look at that. Let's try it. Mm. Wow. I haven't had a show pound in a long time. Bao buns are made from milk, but this whole wheat bao bun, really good. Very good. Can I take off the paper? No, no, no. It's okay. I'll eat it. I just noticed. I didn't even notice, but there's paper on the bottom. I didn't take it out. It's all good, though, man. Wow. Hey, thanks again, Carl, thanks for, for the recommendation. Through, Best vegan travel show, man. Thanks for coming all the way out to Manila. Able to show you around a little yeah. bit. Hope you enjoyed, had some good eats. Hey, shout out to uh, Carl's brand as well, Align. We'll get these shirts. Um, we also have uh, the Best Vegan Food Travel shirts as well. We'll put all the information below in the description. So uh, let's go. located at the social in Poblacion Makati. They serve delicious oven-baked pizzas with extensive vegan pizza options that will make your mouth water. Each pizza is hand-tossed and perfectly made to soothe your taste buds. cheese has that saltiness it tastes just like a regular mozzarella cheese man just like i remember back in the day um so i'm gonna try the stuff part though i didn't try that stuff part mm. Mm. oh my god that 
vegan gouda, the, that yummy sausage in the crust, bomb. It's so good. It's like a sandwich within the pizza. So good. Really good. A plus, man. Great vegan pizza. And thank you, Crostos. Oh, Crostos. For making vegan pizza. Every time you make a vegan pizza, you make the world a better place, man. For sure. Let's go. That wraps up this episode in the beautiful country of the Philippines. We enjoyed so much vegan food here, and I hope you did too. Maraming salamat mga kaibigan. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode.